You should try to know as much as you can possibly know. You should try to learn as much as you can possibly learn. But some things aren't meant for you to know. Some things you shouldn't want to know. Let's look at a nine to five, for instance. You make $20 an hour. You work 40 hours a week. You know you're going to make $800 every week. You feel me? Every day you go work with the same people. Every week you get paid the same thing. There's no magic in that. You know what you're going to get. Like you know what to expect. You feel me? The most magic that can possibly happen is your boss or whoever comes and tell you you got a raise or a new position. Now you're happy for a few weeks or a month or whatever, or two, the most. And next thing you know, it's back to the same old feeling and regular schedule. You know you're going to get $1,600 a week, and that's it. It's not that you're not grateful for your 9 to 5 and the money that you're making. It's just that there's no magic in there. You're waking up and you're doing the same thing. You know what to expect. It's not fun. Now, let's look at athletes and, you know, musicians and scientists or whoever that's living it, entrepreneurs, you live in your dreams, like you're creating for yourself. And when you're creating for yourself, that means you and your purpose, you and your magic, like you don't know what to, what to expect because the magic can happen at any time. Like, you feel me? Let's look at Kobe Bryant, for instance. He didn't wake up that day and be like, yo, I'm playing a Raptors tonight. I'm about to drop 81 on them. He dropped 81 on them and it's kind of like the best feeling ever because he didn't know. Next day he dropped 40, he don't know what he gonna drop. Next day he have, next day after that he have a triple double. Like that keeps you excited, the magic of not knowing. And then like the stuff just keep happening. You just happy, you living in your purpose. You doing what you wanna do. You feel me? Let's look at artists. Let's just say I put out a mixtape this week. I don't know how much streams it's gonna do. Oh, my mixtape debuts as number one. I'm happy. I'm glowing. Next week is is number two. You know, it's up and down, and you just keep creating, like hope, trying to see what's gonna happen. Like what kind of magic you got to work. Like that's why a lot of people don't enjoy their nine to five. Like you know, you're not living in your purpose. I'm not saying that everybody that has a nine to five is not living in their purpose. Cause I know people that loves their nine to five. Like that's what they really want to do. They want to help people. I know nurses, that's what they really want to do. They want to help people heal and whatever the case may be. But 80% of people that have a nine to five don't enjoy their nine to five cause they're not living in their purpose. And there's no magic in there. You feel me? Some things you should not know. Cause when you know, you take out the magic. If you be like, yo, eh, I'm just going to go study and be a nurse when that's not really what you want to do, then you take out the magic out of your life. You take out the fun. You take out the mystery. When you know damn well you don't want to be a nurse, but you just want to go be a nurse because you know you can make 60K or whatever the case may be, and you're going to be good. So you basically signed a contract for you not to be happy because when you take out the magic, and a mystery out of your life, you take out a whole lot of fun. And now you looking to going out on the weekends, to drinking or whatever the case may be for you looking for someone else to make you happy when you signed up for you not to be happy because you took out the mystery and the magic out of your life because you don't want to go through the struggle and the obstacles of chasing, your, of living in your purpose and going after your dreams. Your dream is magical. Enjoy the mystery. Enjoy the magic. Enjoy being magical. Stay in your power. Be mysterious. You feel me? And all of, and enjoy the process. And throughout everything, do it with love. No matter what you're going through, love it. Why? Because love always wins. And when you win, kill them with peace. Right, baby? Uh -huh. <laughs>